everyone, it's Vaki here, and it's 2019, so I hope you guys all had a great New Year's. And to kick off the New Year, I've built this Ninjago mock. So, first custom build of 2019. Now, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Jetbricks for giving me the idea to make this into a museum for Ninjago. That's just a really cool idea, so thanks Jetbricks, and be sure to go subscribe to his channel. Now, let's begin. And starting off in front, there are a couple of these cherry blossom trees in flower pots right there, and I just really like how those turned out, and it definitely adds it to the whole oriental style. On either side of the wall, there are these little banner pieces, which come from a Ninjago set, and one of my favorite details right here. These are just the Ninjago fence or decoration pieces, not really sure what to call them, but I just love how that turned out above the door right there using a snot technique. Not really sure what it's supposed to represent, but I definitely think it looks cool. And right up above that, there is another detail right here, which is probably my favorite part of the mock. I'm using this stickered piece from Ninjago C. It's just one of the extra posters, and that could be representing the exhibit inside, because this is, of course, a museum, or it could just be some sort of advertisement. Either way, I really like how it turned out. Now, turning the mock around, there's not very much detail on the other sides, but of course this would fit along between a couple other buildings, so that's why I just didn't really detail the sides. Now, taking a look at the interior, you can see that this is a modular because it does split apart in three different places, right there for the roof, the second floor, and of course the first floor. And now, taking a look at the inside, and I did try to add a bunch of detail in the interior here, and I just based this off of an actual museum that I did see with different stuff, like samurai armor and just stuff like that, so that's what that's based off of. And inside there we have a shuriken, this kendo helmet right there, as well as, well, a little gold thing, and then a samurai armor right there. And moving on to the next floor right here, there is a little bit of greebling going on right there, and another one of those sticker panel pieces in back, and a ninja sword on display, using some more sticker pieces for just some artwork on the walls right there. And one thing that you might have noticed is there's no staircase. Kind of forgot to add one on, so I guess there's really no way to get to the top floor, but honestly, adding on a staircase would just make the whole mock a lot smaller on the interior, and it would just take up a ton of space, so I'm actually kind of glad I didn't add one. And that's pretty much it for this custom Ninjago build. I definitely had a fun time building it. It's probably my favorite Ninjago mock that I've made. And definitely be sure to tell me your opinions on it in the comments below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for new LEGO videos, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!